Okay, so we're told here that the cost of three markers, 3M, and two pencils, 2P, is $1.80. We're also told the cost of four markers and six pencils is $2.90. What is the cost of each item? So here, um, and include appropriate units. Well, we use a system of equations here because um, it just seems to be the most natural way to do that. What I'm going to do is because I want to cancel out the 2 and the 6, so the 3 and 4. I think 2 and 6 is easier to cancel out because if I just multiply this first by 3, right, that will get me the same p term here as well. So I get 9m plus 6p equals um, here $1.80 times 3. So you have the graphing calculator at your disposal. Right, we can do 18 times 3 as well. 5.4. It's $5.40. And then 4m plus 6p equals 290. So now what we've done is we can cancel out. Subtract the second equation from the first. 9 minus 4 is 5m. 6 minus 6 is 0. And 540, right, 5.4. Oops, 5.4 minus 2.9 equals 2.5, so 250, right? So five markers is 250, divide both sides by five, and the markers are 50 cents each, or $0.5. So M equals $0.5. So then the, the mark, that's the mark cost, the pencils, we can figure out by plugging in. Three times markers, 0 0.5, plus two pencils equals $1.80, right? So that's 1.5 plus 2p equals 1, 1.8. So 1.8 minus 1.5 is 0.3, and two pencils then equals 30 cents, and each pencil then equals 15 cents. So this is a linear systems problem. You can also graph these two lines and see when they meet. That would work as well.